Folks, in the last video, we talked about quarterback Baker Mayfield in this potential quarterback competition. In this video today, we're going to be talking about quarterback Kyle Trask, a second round draft pick of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in the 2021 NFL draft and talking about what he is bringing to the table and what the future could potentially look like with Kyle Trask at the quarterback position. But before we talk about Kyle Trask and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think it's important to dive into Trask at the University of Florida, where Trask went to college and overall put up some really good numbers in his last two years while playing for the Gators. We actually haven't dove too much into college stats from Kyle Trask here on the channel, so this was a fun exercise for me to do. Going back to 2019, when Trask was a junior, he played in 12 total games, throwing 354 passes, completing 237 of them for a completion percentage of 66.9, 2,900 141 passing yards, 25 touchdowns to 7 interceptions was what Kyle Trask was able to do in that junior year. Then taking a look at his senior year in 2020 and things got pretty awesome. Kyle Trask ended up completing 301 passes on 437 attempts. That was good for a 68.9 completion percentage, 4,283 passing yards to go with 43 passing touchdowns to eight interceptions. That is pretty darn good. Kyle Trask was slinging the ball in 2020 while at Florida, and he got himself a couple of accolades. He was the FBS passing touchdown leader in 2020. He was a second team all SEC player, and he was the winner of the Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award in 2020 as well. All in all, 2020 was a great year for Kyle Trask in terms of showcasing what he can do as a potential quarterback at the end or at the collegiate level and possibly going into the NFL level as well. However, the environment that Kyle Trask entered was not one where he was going to play right away. As I said, Kyle Trask was a second round draft pick in the 2021 NFL draft. Now you may think, well, second round pick, there's definitely a chance that he may be playing at some point in the near future. Do you guys know who the starting quarterback was whenever Kyle Trask got drafted? Tom Brady. And I think it's safe to say that Tom Brady would not have gotten benched for any reason whatsoever to a backup quarterback. That's not a fault of Kyle Trask. That is just a fact of life. You have death, you have taxes, and you have Tom Brady playing football. That's just how it is. But Kyle Trask still was able to learn behind quarterbacks Tom Brady and Blaine Gabbert, the backup quarterback, for a couple of seasons. Now, he finally did get some action in the 2022 season. Last year, he played a handful of snaps in the last game of the year for the Bucs against the Atlanta Falcons. And he didn't put up the greatest numbers. Three attempts on nine, sorry, three completions on nine attempts, 23 passing yards, one first down pass, no touchdowns, but no interceptions either. He wasn't even sacked. The only main playing time we have seen Kyle Trask get so far in this point in his career has been through preseason playing. Now, to be fair, it is a little tough to gauge preseason play because Kyle Trask is throwing the backup wide receivers. He's going up against backup players on other teams. So you can't necessarily gauge how well Trask would do if he were to play with the starters. Now, that is going to be something that we are going to see this season. Trask is going to get a lot of opportunities to be the guy. He is going to be competing very well with Baker Mayfield, and we're going to be seeing Trask throw to guys like Mike Evans, like Chris Godwin, like Russell Gage, like Kate Otten, like Rashad White. These are all guys that are going to be new weapons for Kyle Trask to work with and throw to. Does this mean Trask is going to improve based on what people have seen in the last game of the year last year and in the preseason games in the previous couple of years? We'll have to wait and see, but I do believe that certainly gives Kyle Trask the best opportunity he is ever going to have to show improvement and to show good quarterback play. Now, I did say this in the Baker Mayfield video as well, but I certainly think it helps whenever you consider who the offensive coordinator is. A guy who we saw with Geno Smith, again, just last year, 
put up phenomenal numbers, win the comeback player year of the ward, go to the Pro Bowl, and take his team to the playoffs. And one thing that I think is so interesting between Geno Smith and what he did this past year for the Seattle Seahawks and Kyle Trask and what he did in his junior and senior year regarding his time at Florida is the type of quarterback play there. A very efficient style of quarterback play at that. You look at the Seattle Seahawks and Geno Smith stats, 69.8 completion percentage, 4,282 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. You look at Kyle Trask's final year at Florida, 68.9 completion percentage, 437 passes attempted, 4,283 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. That, to me, screams similar styles of offenses. Offenses that do not put a lot of pressure on your quarterback. That gives them easy, high-percentage types of throws to complete and just let your playmakers be playmakers. And if that is the type of offense that Dave Canales is going to be running here in Tampa Bay, I think there is a pretty good chance that you can see Kyle Trask have his best opportunity to succeed and possibly succeed with that. Because the blueprint is there, right? We've seen the comparisons here in stats. We've seen that Kyle Trask can do good in a good offensive system with good weapons around him. He showcased that in his final year at Florida. Now we are going to have to see if he can do the same thing again. A lot of people have always tasked Kyle Trask with being a diligent learner. I didn't want to say slow learner, but a diligent learner, a guy that certainly takes his time to improve and eventually is able to showcase what he can do. And I will say this, if Kyle Trask does end up working out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the age of only 25, you got to feel good about what the Buccaneers have at the quarterback position. With Dave Canales' as offensive coordinator, that could be a match that could be very beneficial for the Buccaneers for many, many years to come. So I think that the pieces are there. The ability is there with Trask. It is all down to seeing if Trask can get it done. And it's going to be a very interesting quarterback battle with Baker Mayfield. I think both guys are in great positions to succeed. I think both guys certainly have the traits. And we'll see if the Buccaneers' second-round draft pick will be able to take advantage of this opportunity and showcase that ability that he had in his senior year while at Florida. Folks, that's it for this video on Kyle Trask. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Your thoughts on Trask, what he did at Florida, and what you feel like he can do in the NFL with the right, with the right weapons around him and a good offensive system that plays to his strengths. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.